Hi guys, my name is Arfa and I'm back with a review. So today I will be reviewing the Camila Coelho Le Absolute Rouge Lipsticks. I bought three myself from Sephora.com, so I will review them for you. The first color that I got was called Copa Cabana. It's matte. The next one I got is called Rouge Empire. It's a cream. These are both in the red tones. And then the last one I bought myself was uh, in the pinks and it's called Tropical Pink and it is matte. I chose two reds and one pink because those are the ones I usually um, like when she wears them. And I saw her review and I was like, oh, those are gonna probably suit me better. So I would have got the nude, but then I have so many nudes in my collection that I figured if I'm going to get something from her, I might as well get something that, you know, I truly, truly like. So, so first and foremost, before I get started, Camila Coelho is a YouTuber and she's beautiful and I love her videos. I used to watch them in Portuguese when she only did them in Portuguese and then now there's another channel in English and I watch those too. I really thought I would buy her collection because I like her as a person and I think she has really good taste in makeup and fashion. So yeah, let's get started with the review. So I guess I'm gonna talk about Copacabana. I, it's the matte version and I really wanted a matte one and I like it. Uh, it's not bad. The only thing about the lipstick line that I think it's sucks or it's just not like you know easy it's not easy going so they do kind of smear off they're not like set you know they don't just set like a liquid lipstick do so that was the only thing besides that the colors are really rich and they're very like strong so when you wear them you're like oh my god this is a really rich color so they are very pretty but they do kind of smear off but it's okay, you know why? Because um, I think sometimes you need that, like you don't need everything to be so dry and on your lips, you know? So for that reason, I'm gonna swatch Copacabana and I'll swatch it on my hand first. So give me a second. So this is uh, in the light on my wrist. So you could see that's the tone. The second one I'm gonna swatch is called Rouge Empire. Now I left the boxes because I think they're cute and I like them. I just wanted to show you guys. So you just like pop it, open it. Very, very pretty packaging. So this was the cream one. I chose cream because I have um, some matte reds and I don't have a lot of cream ones. And I thought this one looked really good when she was swatching it. So I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and try it myself. So let's go swatch that. So you could see there's a difference. This one here, oh sorry, I'm looking hard. <laughs> so this one here is a bit uh, more deep red and this one's like a bright red. So like, go ahead and see that. Then I'm going to swatch, ah, swatch, swatch. Then I'm going to swatch the last one that I bought and that is called um, Tropical Pink. I love pinks, so I had to get this one and I think it's really pretty. Look at that, so freaking pretty. Just out of the uh, lipstick capsule or whatever, I, the bullet. Just out of the bullet, you can see it's really pretty. So I'll swatch that last. And in one swipe, you can just see how nice is that. And it's kind of squiggly, but it's okay. So it's like a nice tropical pink, just like it says. Very pretty colors. And they swatch off with one swipe like really nicely. So. Yeah, first one I'll do is this pink one because it'll be easier to clean up. And for cleaning up purposes, I'm gonna use these Pond's wipes because uh, these lipsticks are really strong, so they do stain. So I think these are good at removing them. So yeah, let's get started. And I do think I will matte out my lips a little bit with some foundation by Too Faced, my favorite one. So then I have like a, you know, a nude, uh, neutral. Uh, lips not so pink you don't have to do this step but I, I kind of like to do this step so let me just get a mirror uh, give me a second so I just put some on here just gonna 
knead it out and chill it. So now my lips are kind of like my skin. Now these lipsticks are really, like I said, a bit runny. So you have to be very careful how you apply them. I think if you can find a matching lip liner, go for it, but I don't have any lip liner that matches. So I'll just, you know, wing it. So first one is tropical pink and we're gonna see how that swatches. It's really pretty. Now I'm just lining it with the tip of it so I can keep it inside of my lips. It's kind of like coloring. <laughs> and I'm sorry if there's background noise, there's like traffic outside. So, this is tropical pink. I think it's pretty. I mean, I wore a new top thinking that it will be good to do that for the first time, but sometimes when the lips are too perfect, I don't like that. So what I would do at times is I'll get a concealer brush or I'll get a foundation brush and go like swipe over the sides to kind of get it a little messy. Cause I don't know, I, I don't have like the nicest lips. They're too cartoonish sometimes if you have it too like perfect. You just like slightly smudge the corners. You can get like a little bit of a, you know, messy look. And I, I like it messy, I don't like everything perfect. Even my liner, I've never had it like perfect. So that just like kind of helps. So this is tropical pink and I guess I'll put that against my... Okay, so I like it. We're gonna take this off now. Oh, I wanted to show you how, what I meant by, um, it's not like, you know, dried on the lips. So I guess I'll just kiss the back of my hand. And you see that? There's a big difference. Yeah, I mean, it's really pretty, but that was one thing you're like, if you're wearing clothes or if you're eating, it might just come off uh, or like lose its color, you know, eventually. But besides that, I think it's, it's really, really nice to have. It's good for your collection if you love collecting lipsticks. So that just came right off. You can see it leaves a stain. But yeah, it just like comes off. You do get a stain, right? So how do you fix that? You just, uh, you just put foundation or concealer on your lips again to just kind of like nude it out, okay? So you can see like this stuff works too, like it's really good. <laughs> okay, the next color is going to be, it's gonna be the matte. Okay, and it's going to be, it's called Copa Cabana, and that's the one that I'm doing now. Um, I will matte out my lips again. I'll just use whatever's left over. See, kind of helps. It's just my opinion. <laughs> okay, so Coca Copa Cabana, here we go. Again, just line them a little bit. I have a lot of wrinkles on my lips. I don't have fillers, maybe I need to get some. I don't know. Or maybe I'll just keep them. Fillers are expensive. <laughs> so this is Copacabana, and it's a very rich, dark, deep lipstick, and it's really pretty. Like when you take pictures, it really is vibrant. And yeah, let me just quickly um, 
show you guys. And I did not nude this one out because I, I think I'll just leave it the way it is, but you can take your brush and swipe it on the corners a little bit to give it a not such a crisp finish look, but it makes your teeth white, I think. Yeah. So this is Copa Cabana, just like this. Okay. Ah, I messed up. Okay, so the last swatch I'm gonna do is the, uh, I forgot the color's name. Hmm, what the hell was it called? Sorry, I forgot. It is called Rouge Empire. So this one here is Rouge Empire. It's gonna be a bit more, what do you call it? Brighter, so we'll do that last, okay? So again, we're gonna clean them up. See how it leaves a stain? It's like really deep. <sighs> All right, it's almost there. So it's kind of like cleans off your makeup so then you kind of want to clean it up a little bit. So yeah, you can get it back to getting a little clean. Okay, so we're gonna do Rouge Empire last and let's see how that one turns out. It's called, no, this was Copa. This is called Rouge Empire. And this is a cream one. So let's see. It's more bright too, don't forget. I like it. Dude, she has really nice colors. I love this. Okay, so let's see. I'm going slow because they're so pigmented that I don't wanna mess up, so. Okay, so that is Rouge Empire, and it's a cream finish, so you can see it's a little bit shiny, but it is very pretty. It's a very pretty red to have in your collection. And yeah, so sometimes when it's like really shiny, I like to kind of mess it up on the side too, just so that it's not too perfect. And you don't want to get color on your brush either, because you need to wash it. All right, so guys, this is Rouge Empire, and that's how it looks. It's a very pretty, very like classy red lip, and I, I like it. I would suggest if you were to buy anything from her collection and you needed a red, this is probably the one, because you get that vibrant red, you get a lot of pigment, and I think it looks pretty good, yeah. So that was my review, guys and hopefully I can do more reviews for you next time. But if I were to give this product uh, a, out of a one to 10 scale, I think I would give it like a 9.5 because it does kind of run, so you have to be extra careful of like your clothing and stuff. But besides that, she's got really great colors and the formula is really good. So Lancome is the one who's done the collaboration with them. So it's, 
Um, it's called Camila Coelho, and it's Le Absolute Rouge with Lancome. And these are limited editions, so I'm not sure how long they're gonna be around for. So if you want a really nice red lip for the holidays and there's Thanksgiving coming up, there's Christmas coming up, and this is a great uh, color of red to add to your collection. So yeah, guys, um, you can get them at Sephora or Lancome.com.